Hey everybody, this is Pete from Owner Builders Unite, and today we're going to be talking about one of the six principles of design for Earthships, and that's rainwater harvesting. Uh, as you see here, I'm on EarthshipGlobal.com, their main website for Earthship Biotexture, uh, and it kind of scrolls down, uh, and you're going to be looking for the water harvesting uh, tab. So here we are, it talks a little bit about what rainwater harvesting is, uh, it shows you a formula uh, which is very helpful to know about how much water you can actually capture per inch and translate it to square foot. So that gives you a good idea of how big your surface area, AKA your roof needs to be for how much water you uh, kind of guess that you're gonna be able to function with. Um, so yeah, this is a great website. Uh, obviously it's Earthships official. It talks about all the other design principles too, but uh, we're just gonna be talking about water harvesting and specifically for Colorado because that's where we live. So I'm gonna click over here to this other tab. Um, it's just an article from a couple months ago uh, on housemethod.com, I Googled it. It just states where it's illegal to collect rainwater. So uh, it shows all the states in the 50 states, obviously, but we're looking for Colorado. So Colorado, it says regulation and encouraged. Uh, yes, there is regulation for capturing rainwater in Colorado. So that's a pretty big thing. And what a lot of people know is that this House Bill 161005 states that homeowners are allowed to collect a maximum of two rain barrels with a combined capacity of 110 gallons. That water may also be only be used outdoors. Uh, so that's a big deal. That's a lot. That's a really big deal for a lot of people looking in Colorado to potentially build an earthship because that bit of information kind of sounds like that you can't do it. Uh, this video I want to kind of walk through and show you exactly, yes, you potentially can do it, uh, but there is kind of certain qualifiers and we're going to go into depth and show you guys exactly what that means. But if again, if you live in another state or you're planning on building, definitely reference and see if you can capture rainwater, if you can't, if there's regulations, that type of thing. So. Back to Google. So now we're going to go ahead and type in uh, rainwater harvesting Colorado and see what comes up. So the first thing that comes up under the people also ask tab is collecting rainwater in Colorado illegal. So it does reference that bill again. It says rainwater collection is allowed as residential properties under certain conditions. So those conditions is what we want to find out. If you go down to DWR, Department of Water Resources Colorado .gov, right here, and click on the Rainwater, Stormwater, and Graywater tab, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna click on it now. Uh, it pops up and it has some more information for us. It talks about rain barrels, frequently asked questions is the first tab. Uh, I'll show you that, I'll click on it. So again, it says, who can collect water under this law? Uh, and it says any single family residence or multifamily residence with four or fewer units. So, okay, that's good to know. Do I need a permit through DWR before I start collecting precipitation and rain barrels? It says no permit or other approval is required for capture and use of precipitation and rain barrels with a combined storage capacity of 110 gallons in ordinance uh, with this section. So. That's what we're talking about. That's what most people think is they can only capture 110 gallons. But uh, if we keep on reading, there's more information. So where can I collect the water from? From the roof of the building, used as primary residence. It says, how much water can you collect? Obviously it references 110 gallons, uh, yada, yada. We're gonna keep on going down. So what the tab is that we wanna look for is this additional allowances for rainwater collection on properties with residential wells. So this is big time. If you have a potential to have a residential well, or if you already do have a residential well, this is where we wanna to click to be able to capture unlimited amount of rainwater. So I'm gonna click on this. So it says in addition to the 110 gallons of precipitation that can be collected and stored as prescribed in rain barrels, uh, frequently asked questions section or above, certain residents, or I'm sorry, certain residential properties that have a residential well or that could qualify for a residential well may be eligible to collect more than 110 gallons of precip or precipitation in accordance with Colorado statutes. So that's huge, that's huge. I wanna preface, not everyone knows that. Uh, this is a, a thing on DWR, it's official, it's officially through the state, so it's 
their word. So let's read through the sub tabs here. So who can collect rainwater under this section? Any residence that has or qualifies for an exempt residential well permit through Division of Water Resources. Uh, so again, if you can qualify for a well permit, residential well permit, you can qualify for this. Uh, if I do not have a well permit, how do I know if my property qualifies for the well permit? Uh, obviously getting in contact with DWR and applying for that per permit rather. Uh, do I need a permit through DWR before I start collecting precipitation? Yes. Before you begin to collect precipitation in connection with the exempt or small capacity well permit, you need to obtain what's called a rooftop precipitation collection permit. So that's the permit that Matt filled out. That's the permit that I filled out. It's also referred to as a rooftop precipitation collection uh, system permit form GWS 78. Very crucial to remember that form number, GWS 78. Okay, next sub tab, where can I collect water from? Same as the barrels from a roof or building that is used primarily as a residence. How much water can I collect? This is big. There is no limit to the amount of water you can collect. So that trumps the 110 gallons that most folks think that they can only collect in Colorado. So if you're planning on building an airship in Colorado, make sure that your property uh, qualifies for being able to uh, get this GWS 78 permit, or you can only capture 110 gallons, which shut down one of the main principles for the earthship. Uh, so this is hopefully news to a lot of people and hopefully gets a lot of people excited about what I'm talking about uh, because obviously the quality of water nowadays you never know where it's going to be you never know if aquifers are going to dry up if pollutions are going to get into things and pollute groundwater so this is big um, let's look at a couple more of these subtitles what can I collect water in uh, it says rain barrels or other types of water storage structures so aka uh, underground cisterns, like how Earthship use bearable cisterns rather. That works out fine. Uh, it says, what can I use the water for? So this is kind of important and just a, a good thing to know. Those residential uses that are allowed on the exempt well permit, which may include both indoor and outdoor uses depending on the well permit. So most well permits, especially a residential well permit in the state of Colorado, unless you have 35 acres, you can only use it for indoor use. Uh, so that 110 gallons you could still use for outdoor use in the sense of a garden or whatnot, but technically, unless you have 35 plus acres and qualify for uh, a different well permit, you would only be able to use it for indoor use. If you do have 35 acres, I think the permit is, uh, for those folks, you can uh, water up to an acre, so like an acre big garden, a big one acre garden or something like that you could use it for kind of important so let's keep on going down if you go down to important links right here uh, one of the biggest uh, helpful facts right here is the GWS 78 application so this is the actual application that you need to fill out for the permit to get the permit so if you click on this I'll show you it opens it up as a PDF uh, and it's very similar to a well permit if you've ever uh, filled out for a well permit so again filling out your name, your address, all the information that goes with your property and your parcel. If you go down to here, this is kind of the, the fine print and this is very good to know again. So here's some qualifiers. To qualify, all the following minimum criteria must be met. Number one, the property of the collection will take place as a residential property. Okay, that's kind of big. Uh, being able to make sure that you qualify for that well permit and use the water that you're using in rainwater harvesting in the same sense of the qualifiers. Um, kind of scrolling down, another qualifier that is very good to know is there is no water supply to serve the property available from a municipality or water district. So if you live in town and your water is serviced by town, you know, some sort of water and sanitation, then you can't get this permit. So that's a big, big holdup for a lot of people. Again, if you are hooked up to some sort of city water, technically you can only still capture 110 gallons and not get this permit. So that's a big, big red flag for someone. Um, again, the precipitation is collected only from the roof on the building used as a primary residence. Um, so I think technically if you had something like a barn 
or maybe a, a garage. I don't know if that would technically qualify in the sense of being able to capture or use that water, but all the water from your roof on the house on the earth ship would qualify. Uh, let's see here. Number six, the collected precipitation is only used for those rules that are allowed by the exempt well permit on the well permit that property would uh, be legally entitled to. So that's kind of what we talked about. You just have to make sure you know what water rights you have in the sense of well rights. Uh, how to apply, it talks about it down here. If you already have a permit, if you don't have a permit, uh, if you already do have an existing well or unexpired well permit, there is no filing fee for this permit. So this permit is free. I repeat, it's free for those folks. Uh, if you are applying for a permit to construct a well and use rooftop precipitation collection system, uh, then there is a filing fee for this GWS 44, which is $100. Um, if you do not intend to construct a well, but you want to use this rooftop precipitation collection system, uh, more or less it's $60 and you're supposed to fill out that form. So yeah, it's a little bit of information that you have to go through, but it's not too bad. It's obtainable. Uh, again, I got mine and Matt and Goldie are applying for theirs and yeah, I can legally capture rainwater from my roof and use it for residential, you know, no different than a residential well permit. So big time news for folks that think uh, rainwater harvesting in Colorado is illegal. Uh, big time news for folks that are, you know, building earthships in Colorado and may or may not know if they're, where they're building qualifies for this permit. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments below, uh, like, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for checking this video out.